Hello and welcome to our session on self-coaching. Spirituality or the journey of spirituality requires one to constantly reflect on where you're at and look at what you'd like to change and then look at how you might like to change that. So this afternoon, today, we're talking with Lotta Arbman and Lotta is from Sweden. And I had a conversation the other day with Lotta, which was about self-confidence and how to really start to shift from being someone like many of us, if not all of us, who lack some level of self-confidence to confronting that and taking the reins and changing that. And I thought this would be a great conversation to have. So I would like to say welcome to you, Lotta. And thank you. Congratulations. It's a challenge, I know. Thank you very much for inviting yeah. me. The context, of course, was around um, how all of us on, on the spiritual journey have many things that we have to confront. Um, things that, you know, sometimes things that are hidden we don't see about ourselves. And we can either project those onto other people or just be in denial about them completely. But there are other things that we know about but they take us some time to actually kind of face. And you were sharing that, I remember you saying, after 31 years, and you know, it's like that, isn't it? You go along and then all of a sudden you say, no, enough. So I wonder, can you share a little bit about that? Because really, it's, it's not just you, it's all of us who have something like this. So what I was sharing with you the other day was um, the realization I had this summer that uh, I lack self-confidence and it's not a realization that is new to me. I've been aware of it for many, many years, but I haven't been thinking about it as lacking self-confidence. I have more been looking for what I need to fill myself with and maybe I've been looking for other things that like I thought I should fill myself with. Like, like what? Well, become more peaceful, be more relaxed, things like that. But I haven't looked at it as lacking self-confidence. And uh, so when I looked at it as lacking self-confidence, it became very simple. Because it's just one word. And it doesn't sound very big. It doesn't sound like impressive. <laughs> self-confidence. Who doesn't lack self-confidence? But when I looked at it more closely, I had the feeling that if I could, you know, t take a needle and uh, make a hole in this, it would make such a big difference for me. Tell me a little bit, if we go back a couple of steps. The lacking of self-confidence is not about filling yourself with something else. It's actually, um, Tell me, no, tell me how it shows up, like what, what does it, how does it affect you? Uh, I, um, I become timid, I want to shy away, I disappear yeah. in the wall. Yeah. Uh, somebody asks me something, I don't know how to answer, even if it's a very obvious thing, I would be able to answer in, under normal circumstances. So mm. when I'm put in this, on the spot, if many people look at me at the same time, you know, <laughs> Yeah. It's like a, like a blackout, you can say. For me, it has been a lot like that. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's not uncommon at all, you know. And within that, did you justify that at all in other ways? Like justified that, well, you know, I just, I'm shy or, you know, I... I'm slow or, you know, you justify it in some other way that, like probably. you can't do anything about it. Yeah, probably. You know, I haven't thought about it as, as justification, but afterwards maybe I can see that. So I've been th maybe believing that I'm shy, shy nature, especially s slow, you know. I, I'm still slow, but now I'm starting to look at slow is, can also be useful. Okay. You know, many people around me are very fast, and that made me also feel n not only se lack of self-confidence, but you start to compare yourself with others, and it's a very mm. unpleasant experience mm. because I turn very negative, and I start mm. to compare, I start to feel stressed, I start to feel hopeless, many things. You know, one thing leads to yeah. the next. Yeah, and it's incredible, isn't it? Because 
We live in a world that is so fast paced and the faster you are, like the better you are. But it doesn't really mean that because it's also often very superficial. Fast is, is not necessarily better, but if you're comparing and you're slower, you can feel that and that damages again the self-confidence. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what did you decide to do? Or you decided? I decided I have to do something about this lack of self-confidence. And actually, I was inspired by a meeting with Sister Denise, where she was saying, you have to claim your power. And she kept on saying, you have to claim your power. It, it touched, touched me. It touched something deeply. Because uh, the word power is, a, 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 I have felt, is a negative word. You know, I don't haven't liked the word power mm -hmm. because it has, you, it has carried the connotation that is misuse of power, so mm -hmm. much abuse of power mm -hmm. in this world today. And to want to become powerful, you want to dominate others. These kind of images have been following, for me, the word of power. So, mm. But when this word of claiming your power, it has, when she talked about that, it made me think, because if you don't claim your power, something else happened which is not very nice. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, you try, you, tr you want others to give it to you. Because mm -hmm. I started to feel it's natural to be powerful. And then I mean powerful in the sense of, powerful to me means to be relaxed. When mm -hmm. I'm in my power, I'm relaxed, I'm satisfied, I don't need much. And so I'm content. Many of these things, which is a good quality, it doesn't it hasn't anything to do with overpowering others. Mm. But then it, what I feel is games that I tend to play is that I want others to give me that feeling. And that I started to think about that when we're having this conversation about claiming your power. And I felt it's right that actually nobody's going to ever give me the power of being peaceful or harmonious or stable or unafraid unless I take charge in some way or the other. Mm. So how did you do that? Or well, how are you doing it? Because it's not like one day to the other. No, it's not one day to the other, but I feel it's like a decision. Okay. Anyway, you start off a process by making a decision. And I feel it's deeply connected by being honest with yourself. Mm. And I also feel honest with yourself is nothing mystical at all. <laughs> it's like, it's very helpful to be, come to a point of disgust. <laughs> 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 you feel disgusted by going into the same black corner again and again. Yeah. And actually when you look into the corner, you see it's nobody's putting you there. It's me going to the same corner yeah. where I can't come out. And so yeah, I felt so disgusted with it in the end yeah. that I'm looking at, okay, this is a lack of self-confidence. Mm. And then I thought back on this of claiming power, okay, I have to do something about it. Mm. And the next thought, I can do something about it. And the next thought, okay, I have to make a decision. I don't want this lack of self-confidence. The decision gave you the power to see things in a different way and take charge. Did you surprise yourself? Yes. And how did that feel? It felt fantastic. Yeah. And it also, it uh, underlined my feeling that this is possible. Mm. But I'm also very aware, but what I feel is, because I can continue to work now with um, gaining my self-confidence back, which is why I accepted to sit here. Yeah. I would never do this otherwise. This is your first time <laughs> yes. on a television set. Yes. It's incredible. No? <laughs> yes, I'm getting self But what self I'm learning is that, uh, you know, you have to take a step of courage. Mm. But a step of courage means you can't fake it. No. A step of courage means you have to take a risk. And the mm. risk means that it has to be a real risk. It mm. can't be a risk with calculation. Oh, I risk a little bit of comfort and then mm. I will get help. But because I feel that, no, you have to take a real risk where you actually risk to, in a television show, make a complete fool of yourself. Yeah, you know? Which you're not doing yet. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> we still right. have a few minutes, but so far, yes. so good. <laughs> but that's what I keep mm. getting the feedback. You know, you said something to me which I thought made a lot of sense. That 
when you find yourself feeling those feelings or notice your behavior as you're shying away or those old patterns of lack of self-confidence, you go back to the point where you say, I have to do something different from what I would normally do. But day to day, when you find yourself you know, facing yourself and yeah. that old pattern, mm. this thing about do something different. Talk yeah. a little bit about that. I c so what I do, I c uh, because I kept it as a sp I made it as into a sport. Okay. You know? Yeah. It was very important to have sportsmanship and have humor because otherwise you can't allow yourself to fail. It's very important to allow yourself to fail because otherwise you can't win. And so I keep it as a sport and as a game for myself. Mm -hmm. So what can I do today to uh, move my positions a little bit further? So mm -hmm. like the other day, I was in a gathering and there were many people in this gathering and I saw a spot where I could sit. Mm -hmm. I saw many spots where I could sit. And I know myself from previous that I would choose to be with people that I know and, I, and the certain people I would choose not to be with because I don't know them, I'm not confident, they are powerful people, etc. Mm -hmm. So the other day I chose to sit beside someone that I wouldn't choose. And I chose to start up a conversation and go on with the conversation, although it's, it goes against my, well, you could say your current, or you, it's often you say that you go uh -huh. against the current of the, current, yeah. of the world, mm -hmm. but that's not so difficult to be different from the rest of the world, but to go against your inner current, your own current, you know, uh -huh. that <laughs> takes more, yeah. but it's also very rewarding. And also I got so much from doing that and I felt inside, oh, this is good, this is right. That's interesting, isn't it? The, uh, congratulations, because, <laughs> because it, it, it's not a small thing. Like you say, it's like this current which you don't know how long or how fast it's been going and, and, for, and you can trick yourself all the time.